I'm going to show you how to commission your brand new Everest Ice machine. First step, when you get the machine, you'll want to open the left door by turning your T-handles. And then you can open your right door by reaching just below the lock strike plate and pulling down the lever. And the right door should swing open. When you first open your machine, the first things you'll see are the large white plastic barrel that dispenses ice. Your accessory box should be in the bottom and all of your components on each door. You should take your accessory pack out of the machine as well as the box of bags that's in the bottom of the machine and uh, make sure that everything is accounted for. When you open your accessory pack, you should find a filter kit, which contains two silver carbon filters, one large pre-filter cartridge, one much smaller scale filter cartridge, some rubber O-rings, a filter wrench, a scale stick, and a scale stick extension. You should also find an output collar for the front of your machine along with two bolts and nuts to hold it in the door. You should find your wash down spray nozzle. You should find a cleaner brush and a Gold X USB to serial adapter. You'll also find all of your paperwork for your Scotsman, your motor controller, your filters, and your coin management and bill management hardware. When commissioning your machine, you're also going to want to open the left hand louver panel. To open the left louver panel, you reach above the air duct on the left side of the machine and turn the T handle. This will release the louver panel and then using a ladder, you can depress the top bracket and pull the louver panel out of the machine. Inside the machine, you will see an exhaust air duct for the Scotsman and your black electrical box cover. For this step, we're going to take down the electrical box cover just to by it. unscrewing the bolts or the nuts on the top pens. And pulling the cover straight out. Under the cover, you'll see the control board, the AC box, and your motor controller. The next step is to hook up the water system to your machine. So you'll want to install your pre-filter, the two carbon filters, and the scale stick, which you can do by following the separate filter installation video and hook up the incoming water line to the back bulkhead fitting. Before hooking up the power to your machine, it would be wise to check the water tightness of all of the plumbing fittings and components inside. So once you install the filters, you turn this first ball valve from closed to open on the very front of your water manifold, and then allow all of your filters to fill with water. You'll hear it all filling, and then after a while, it'll, you'll hear it stop filling, and then you want to check your pressure on the analog pressure gauge that's on top of the manifold, and make sure that you have an adequate 40 to 50 PSI. During this period, you should also check for leaks in all of the plumbing fittings in the left side of your machine. If you determine that there's a leak in a fitting, first try tightening the fitting with a wrench and if you still can't fix the leak, then you should loosen the fitting completely, apply Teflon tape or plumber's putty, and then retighten the fitting. Checked all of your plumbing fittings and internal components for water leaks, you should apply power to the machine. When you apply power to the machine, you should see the front LEDs come on, as well as the LCD screen. You should also see running lights on the credit card reader, the bill validator, and the coin manager. 
should check to make sure that your ultraviolet light is illuminated. You'll also hear the compressor fans in the Scotsman Ice Cuber turn on. In the accessory package, you'll find an output collar. To install the collar, use the included hardware, socket the collar over the output chute, and use the hardware to secure the collar to the door through the holes. You'll have to reach behind the door to install the nut on the other side of the bolt. The last step to commission your machine is to check the front LCD panel, verify your pricing and your machine number, and then fill your coin carriage in your coin manager with about 20 of each denomination of coin. Once your coin manager is full of coins and you've verified your pricing and your machine ID number, you can close the left door and you're ready to vend dice.